Creating landscapes in Blender can be a hard and time consuming task. So in this video, I'm going to show you a Blender add-on that lets you create terrain, sky and water surfaces for your landscape scenes in minutes. So the add-on is called Terrainscape 2. This add-on allows you to create stunning environments and render them in minutes. The Terrainscapes add-on is an expanding library of assets and toolsets which enables Blender user for creating lovely landscape scenes. The goal for this add-on is to make it as intuitive and as easy as possible to create landscapes. It allows you to create mountains and all the mountain models includes a normal map which ensures a sharp look even with a low poly count. This way you can have low memory usage but also a high quality look for your scene. Also depending on your needs, you can adjust the settings until you get what you want. And you only have to pull some sliders to do that. You can choose the terrain you want by watching the preview images and dragging them into your scene via the asset browser. This add-on allows you to create procedural skies as well. The biggest benefits of procedural sky is that you can animate it. Whether you want to render a stunning sunrise or just blowing clouds, you have the ability to do that. You can choose between 35 setups and all you have to do is to drag and drop the sky you want into your scene. This way you are able to try different looks very fast until you are happy with your result. The procedural sky supports cycles and EV. Even if you don't use EV you can render the sky super fast because the atmosphere and the clouds are not volumetrics. Now there are many websites where you get HDRIs or backdrops from but many times the images are blurry or low resolution. One big advantage of a procedural texture is that the resolution is nearly infinite because it's calculated by math and noise textures. Terrainscapes also comes with the ability to create water. Now the water in the real world is producing caustics through bundle light. It's hard to get this effect in Blender, but the devs tried to imitate it as good as possible. Now also when you look at lakes, you often see the ground fading away. This is because the water has particles in it that makes the water look darker at the bottom. The add-on comes with waves integration as well because the waves vary depending on how strong the wind is at each location. This can be seen particularly at large water areas. The add-on also offers really fast render times and you can see a rapid change every time you switch something in the viewport. Now if you want to check out this add-on, link is in the description. Tell me in the comments below what do you think about this add-on. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching and goodbye.